Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of DST with the skinny legend Bella. We have to find out what happens because in the last one, we finally took down Charlotte. Or I hope we did at least. Well, Bella hopes she did at least because who knows if Charlotte has any other tricks up her sleeve. But hopefully, we're about to get the lead of the play. So that's going to be exciting. And poor Tiffany took down Hannah, the lap dog. My goodness, if you, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's the last one so you can catch up with all the drama so you can be ready for all the tea spilled in this video. I really, really hope you all enjoy. Give it a big thumbs up. If you do, subscribe if you aren't already and let's start the drama. Campus has never been so quiet. Why? Because of exams week. Libraries are full, books are sold out. It's crazy. I haven't seen anyone all week. They're all busy and studying. So I decided to do the same. <laughs> is she really? Yes, I decided to study hard as well. It paid the last time I did. And even though it's boring and annoying, we're working for our future. She's made some points. Okay. And my future is looking very bright. I kicked Charlotte out of drama class, so I got the lead, which is an achievement I am very proud of. But I still have to study for my other classes. I mean, you got to get an education, right? We're not paying those astronomic tuitions for nothing. You better work. Okay, in the iconic words of Miss Britney Spears, you better work. See ya, Bella, I'm going out. Where is Trish going? What on earth are you doing? I told you I'm going out. I hired you the first time, idiot. What I want to know is what you are doing in your underwear. That's what I think we all want to know. I was a little shocked at that outfit, but I wasn't going to say anything. Wait, let me guess. Is it because you finally understood that your closet is trash? No, I'm going out like this because there's an undie run on campus tonight. So you know you have to run in your undies. What? What is that a lesbian thing? No, it's not a lesbian thing like you said. It's a run that happens each quarter for exams week. You know, just to cut loose and have fun when you're studying. Would you like to come? Oh, wow, this is shocking. I've never heard of this stuff before, but I mean to each their own. Well, although I feel this is a perfect trip and I hate running, this will make an amazing Instagram post, so I'm coming. Great, just stuff where we can go. Oh, you wish, perv. I need to find the perfect underwear first. It requires planning. All right, I'll be waiting in the hallway. Oh, dude, Trish looks so done. All campus will be there. I need to look flawless. So what should I wear? Okay, let's look at all the options and see what Bella's gonna wear. Okay, let's look at lingerie. This is like a classic. Let's look at the rest, though. Dark lace. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, or red, babe. Ooh, I like the red. Oh, my gosh. Wait, let's look at dark again. Okay, that's, like, classy. That's very Bella, but I feel we've seen that before. The red is cute, though. I kind of like the red with her red lip. I, you know I love the classic red lip, so let's do it. Hey, cool down, pervy. I have enough love interest, right? So we have so many. But yeah, I have to admit, I do look gorgeous. Okay, Bella's killing it. Let's go slay that undie run. Teach them all the lesson. I'm ready and sexy. Finally. Let me just invite Jesse and then we can leave. Oh, we're going to invite Jesse. Okay. Hey, Jess. Trish, it just invited me to the undie run. Who knew she was so dirty? <laughs> Poor Trish. Oh no, girl. Don't tell me you're doing this. What? I thought you liked the concept. Sweetie, these undie runs are created by only people just to hook up afterwards. You'll see. Everyone just want to smash. Really? Oh my God, Trish. Do you want to hook up with me? What? No, of course not. She said no. Not Trish Bella. I'm talking about brainless frat guys and creepy weirdos. I'm not going to this orgiastic gross thing. But you have fun, okay? You deserve a smash a little. It's been a long time. Oh, wow, rude. Are you saying I need someone in my life? <gasps> Jesse is known he just said. Is that what you're saying, Jesse? Oh, I suddenly can't hear you going through a tunnel. See ya. Oh no, I can't believe he said that I don't need anyone. Can you believe that we only have five more chapters or five or four or five or four or five more chapters after this? And we got to pick a love interest out of all of the people. We, this is our last few chapters to spend time with them before the final decision arrives. My goodness. I can't believe he said that I don't need anyone. We're humans. We all need someone. I'm not human. I am Pell Ellingson. That's correct. Now let's go for this debauchery run. Who is that on the phone with you? Oh, I fully haven't seen Gerald in a long time. My goodness. Oh my God, you'll never believe it. Bella is going to the undie run. Maybe she's finally listening to her drive. This undie run is so creepy and gross. But I'm sure all those frat guys must look so hot in their speedos. Oh gosh, I'm in a relationship. I should not think about these things. Or maybe I can think about it, just not say it. Oh, Jesse. Oh! Gerald's going. Are you going to the shower or something? No, I'm going to the undie run. 
Ooh, so you heard Bella will be there and you decided to go, oh, Gerald's trying to get Bella again. Mm, it's been a while. I smell a cute teenage crush in the air. No, I am definitely not going because she's going. I just need to go for run right now. It's a good opportunity, that's all. A good opportunity, right? Opportunity to check Bella out. So, oh, come on. Don't take this the wrong way, big brother. I'm rooting for you. But I also ship Bella with all these other guys. Uh, don't chill, Gerald. He would kill me if you knew about that. Oh, all these people. Oh, my gosh. Look at this crowd. It smells. Oh, my gosh. You don't want to go see your friends? Uh, Trish, I came with you. Are you sick or something? Why are you nice again? I was going to say, wow, Bella. She's really, oh, my goodness. I'm not nice, moron. I just don't want to go with them. A classic Bella, there she is. Wait, what is happening between you guys? Nothing, why are you asking? Charles has been avoiding eye contact since we were... <gasps> Charles still is mad at us after last chapter, which to me is completely uncalled for. Mm. Why is he so disappointed? Something definitely happened. We don't know what happened. He's all angry at us for nothing. Trish, I have no idea why you think that. Oh, but I'm sure his friend does. Oh, no, this is awkward. Seriously, what did you do to them? Nothing, almost nothing. Oh, who is he? Hey, are you Bella? Who is this guy? Just give a proud answer. The one and only Bella Ellingston. Well, it's wanted to let you know you're awful for what you did to DJ. Oh, what was that about? Okay, first off, he hooked up with Hannah. Why is everyone upset at Bella? Excuse me. Mm, no, nothing. I don't even know the guy. Let's just try to find another spot. Are they going to be all angry at us? Hey, losers, you here to creep a sneak peek? Oh, hey. Okay, Peter, be nice to us. You've always had our back. Hey, gals, I was talking about my panties. We don't want to know the rest of the story. Of course you do want to know, do we, Kiki? So I was saying, I went and put on my blue bra. Then I looked at my belly and I was like, hey, a baby was in there. So, you know, I can't wear what I wore in my 20s anymore. That's why I went for a little top. Do you really think people care? Hey, Belle, look, I'm so rich I can afford to buy a gold chain. What is fancy, right? Crackhead, you got it in a kinder <laughs> He uh, He's all like, Shh, don't tell my secrets. Gosh, you guys are so sad. I almost feel bad for you. Oh, your costumes suck. Mine is way, way better. What costumes? For the Hindi run, I'm the only one with the good costume. Oh, Freak, you poor... Freak is, like, so cute in a weird way, poor thing. It's not a Hindi run, idiot. It's an Undi run. You're not even Indian. Oh, don't tell him that. I'm confused, so I'll just lay on the ground. Is he gonna faint? Oh, he just... He, we're just gonna leave him there. If he needs water, we'll bring it to him. What? Nothing. Just saying you like that reminds me of New Year's Eve in my car. <gasps> oh, what a time to be alive. Hey, guys, such a coincidence to fun here. Oh, Gerald's here, too. Hey, Bella. Oh, hey, Gerald. Oh, Peter just rolled his eyes. I since competition. Oh, we have to check him out. Oh, Peter's there, too. Hotness overload. They are both so hot. But my favorite is, oh, you guys, I don't know who my favorite is. The thing about it is, is Peter's always been so sweet to us. Gerald's a hottie. I like Peter, honestly. I like Charles, though, but Charles is, like, getting on my nerves because he's trying to defend DJ. Not me, by the way, who was doing the wrong by dating Tiffany's underling or whatever, who was going behind her. It's a whole freaking love experience mess, but whatever. I'm going for Peter. Peter. He is so nice and brave and hot and funny. And, oh, I can't think about it right now. The thing why I like Peter is Peter is so hot and he's always had Bella's back. Like, no matter what mess Bella gets into, Peter's always so chill about it and is always there for Bella. Gerald, Gerald is sexy, but I feel Gerald just, he's always angry, always something is wrong with him. It's just, I can't deal with that, no. Why am I feeling these emotions? I'm happily single. I'll, for maybe like three more chapters, Bella. <laughs> we'll see about that. Hey, I thought you came to take a picture. Oh, write the picture. Everyone gather around. Let's take a foot picture for Instagram. Who is Instagram? I hear everyone talking about him. Is he one of the minions? No. Guys, I look so hot in that picture and you're average. So it's okay. I'm going to post it right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bella. Let the undie run begin. Can we beat these freaking frat boys? Come on, run, idiots. Is she not going to run? Oh, they look so stupid. <laughs> she, she dipped. She dipped. She was like, run. And she did not go. Oh, God, I cramp. I got a cramp. Not, not Kiki's cramps. You literally only ran 10 feet. Hey, don't judge me, girl. It was just a bad start. Maybe for my feet placement. Otherwise, I could have won. Uh, yeah, right. 
Oh, but Peter didn't run either. Okay. Hey, you're cheating. You should be running right now. Why aren't you running? And you should be running too. Looks like we're both cheating then. I mean the game, not on someone. But like, how could I cheat on someone? I'm single. How can a handsome man like you stay single for that long? I was about to ask you the question. Is he holding out for Bella? Because if he is, you just got points, Peter. Well, I guess I'm happy with myself. He's like, now it's your turn to answer. Well, maybe I'm single because I'm waiting for the girl I like to change your mind. <gasps> Ah, oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. What's Peter gonna do? Oh, what's Crackhead doing? Hey, lovebirds, I got a deal for you. How about we go to my room and have a menage a trois? <laughs> go away, Crackhead. And I'll wait with you. Crackhead, what are you doing? I like how she literally did not even become a character. She's just been a random girl. Like, Lucky did not even give her, like, a name. Well, maybe four then, if you want to join my girlfriend. Okay, get out. Do you still not know my name? What? Of course I know your name. What's my name then? <laughs> TikTok, girlfriend. No, it's not. Well, don't you guys worry. I'll try to convince her. Oh my gosh, see you. <laughs> we'll see about that, crackhead. You know, you don't hold your breath. Sorry about that. It's okay. I know crackhead. He's always been this annoying. Tell me about it. Well, it was nice seeing you. And in this outfit. Oh, okay, Peter. I have a bunch of exams tomorrow, but I'll see you later. Of course you'll see me. All right, cool. Well, have a good night, Bella. Ah, a little kiss on the cheek from Miss Bella. Okay. Oh, exams. Let's get this over with. What should I wear today? Okay, let's look at our thing. We have queen. That is like fab or classy. I kind of like fab, but Bella screams pink. And I feel like I never picked the pink options enough. So I go with the pink one. Looking good as always. All right, let me remind you the rules. No talking, no cheating. All right, you can start writing your essays. Okay. What is the, okay, okay, essay topic was God Skinny by Bella Ellingston. That's a good topic. I'm living for this. What are you writing? Can I copy you? You can't copy, idiot. It's a creative essay. We're going to get in trouble. I bet Mrs. Blueberry Pie is going to attack us. Just find yourself a topic. He better not get us in trouble. Do you think I can write about the fact that name Oliver sounds like all of the food? You can do whatever you want, dummy. Just leave me alone. Bola, I said no talking. He's the one talking to me. Okay, Mrs. Blueberry Pie, go bake yourself and get out. Hey, Bella, how do you spell Olive? Hey, Miss Big Berry, I have a question. Sure, cat. Can I call someone? It's super important. Sure, as long as you stay discreet. Wait, are you serious? Excuse me, but she's a... I hate Mrs. Blueberry Pie. Yes, a Big Mac menu with a double fries and cook. McDonald's sounds so good. I had McDonald's like two days ago, but I want it again. Oh, wait, I want Fanta. Oh, no, I want Coke. Gosh, I can't decide. Hey, old girl, can you buy me a little snack? I'm starving. I'm broke. I'm not feeding you. Come on, let's focus. Just keep writing about the skinny god. It's fine. All right, time's up. Please hand your papers. Okay. I wanted to write about olives, but I can't spell it. So here's a blank sheet. Sometimes actions speak louder than words. I don't know what that means, but I heard it somewhere. And you absolutely are right for good work. I can't wait to not read your essay. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Imagine if a teacher did that. How lit. Like, oh my gosh. My essay is called Was God Skinny? Because, you know, we all have these beauty standards today. But did they already exist back then? You know, the time when Jesus was hanging out with his pals. Before the guy betrayed him and got him nailed. <laughs> Hashtag creepy. But the answer is nobody knew about those beauty standards. Boom. Sensational essay. You'll like it. It seems mad to me, but I'll give it a try. Okay, you know what? I give up. Goodbye, Mrs. Blueberry Pie. I hope you frickin' fry. Ugh, my GPA is definitely going down after this exam. I better work my butt off for the next ones. I have some free time before we get ready for the play. I should go and practice. What's she gonna go practice? Oh my gosh. What's Kat doing? Why are they following us? Hey, yo, I told you I'm sorry. You stole one of my french fries, how dare you? That is grounds for termination, honestly. Okay, wait, are we getting ready for the play? Like, what's happening? What's Charles doing? Can we make up with Charles? I feel so awkward that he still hates us. Uh, I'll never be able to memorize all this for tonight. With our help, you can, Charles. Hey, maybe I can help. It's my favorite movie. I've seen it so many times. The problem isn't the script. I've seen the movie as well. Then what is it? You know what it is. Why is he so sad? This is pathetic. Look, I really didn't want to hurt you in the process, but I needed to get rid of Charlotte. You don't know half the things she did to me. She even teamed up with Fiona a few weeks ago. I'm not saying you shouldn't have got rid of Charlotte. What I'm saying is there were other ways to do it. 
I'm really sorry for DJ. Why are we sorry? I don't care. I always want to defend you, see the best in you, but you're making this hard, Bella. I, uh, you destroyed my best friend like a collateral damage. Good. He was like being awful and you didn't even apologize to him. Why are we apologizing to him? I'm starting to think that you don't care about anything but yourself. Okay, it's making me doubt my feelings. All right, Charles, you know what? You get in your feelings. You go get in your feelings about that. It's fine. Feelings? What feelings, Charles? Please, Charles, don't hate me. It's all I'm asking of you. Honestly, I really don't care. Don't hate me. I I, I literally do not care. At this point, y'all, I don't know. Tell me your opinion. I literally don't care anymore. That was amazing, guys. Keep those emotions for tonight. This is perfect. All right, Mr. Loco. Thanks, Mr. Loco. I'll go get ready in the dressing room. You do that. You be sad. You'll see, babe. The cue will be worth it. Bella is the best... Be I can't speak. Best actress ever. She's perfect. I would say she's the next Debbie Gold. I'm sure she will be amazing. Yes, and the choice for the play is great. You'll see. Uh oh, did someone say play? I once wrote a Christmas play. It was about a killer pine tree whose name was Charlie, I think. Okay. Kiki, that play was terrible. Say what? It was super cool. It rest in pieces. No, the plot was awful. And on top of that, Psycho almost broke Bella's nose. Oh my God, I was so scared for her perfect nose. What a time to be alive back then. Wow, that was rude. I am feeling offended. What does offended mean? Just don't ask, freak. It's fine. Oh, what is she doing back here? She scares me every time she sees me. Oh, my gosh. You're not going to punch me on the stage again, right? That There is no promises I feel with her. I have to say, when I knew I was sharing my dressing room with you, I kind of panicked. But we're cool. Like, you're not going to slit my throat. I don't trust her one bit. I would keep your eyes on her, Belle, the whole time you want eye on her. I was actually super nervous to play the role that made Debbie Gold famous tonight. It feels so weird, you know? Hey, girls, are you ready? In a minute. Okay, cool. See you out there. Okay. Hey, wait, jerk. Can I ask you a question? Was the question you wanted to ask? No. You know, Charles, do you think he'll forgive me? Duh, obviously. Even if you had killed someone, he'd forgive you, Bella. Really? What makes you say that? Yeah, toss the tea. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't be that clueless. Don't you see that he's madly in love with you? I mean, yes, we've been new. He's madly in love with us, but this is like a pathetic fight. Get ready fast. The audience is already waiting. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta get on stage. I'm ready to kill the situation. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he is trying to get me to think Charles loves me because that's what I did to DJ with Tiffany, but it wasn't, I just, okay, I'm over it. Oh wow, is this a strategy to humiliate me? I like how Psycho's even done. Uh, I'm sorry, what was it on your face? It was an expression. Hey, did you do something with your facial expression? What does that mean? Oh, oh. Okay, I had to do a cut there because I was in such shock. I am so sorry for all the headphone users, but Psycho is speaking. Psycho is speaking. Seriously, Bella, I worship Satan and even I don't see any evil in what Jerk just said. It was just so weird reading that. I Oh my gosh, y'all, I need a moment. Okay, just believe in yourself and trust others. It's really, it's a struggle. That's how you'll be able to move on. Uh, that's me. Oh, come on. I already talked to you before. Don't be so such When? I don't remember when. You never phrase full sentences in front of me. I had no idea you could hold three sentences together. That's my point. People evolve. Maybe it's time for you to evolve as well. I, I, what are you doing? Oh, 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 taking my extensions off. I'm not a goth anymore. I am now a young, friendly woman. What is going on? I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't. I think we're all sane. We're not imagining this. We're not. Oh my gosh. See you on stage. Good luck. What just happened? I am in absolute disbelief right now. It took everything it, like in me to actually get through that portion right there and read that sentence. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's calm down. Okay. We got to get it together. Everyone got to get it together. Okay. Let's, let's talk about this at the end here. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming to the premiere of our play. The students worked very hard. They can be proud of themselves. Except that girl who tried to bribe me. Mm. But I'm an honest man, so her non-existent charms didn't work on me. Okay, Mr. Loco. Yas Queen, Shade, Charlotte, spill the tea. Tonight, my students will be playing Love, Passion, and Drama. The play is an adaption of a very famous movie, The Diamond Ring, directed by John North. Starring Debbie Gold and Henry Manson. It's a classic. Our leads, Bella and... I Santa Dios, what's his name again? Uh, it's, it's Charles, right? Our leads, Bella and Charles, will be playing the loving couple. I hope you will enjoy our work. And if you have some cash, I accept tips backstage. Enjoy. Okay, I mean, get money. Whatever. It's showtime. 
Oh, the suffering I'm feeling is terrible. Will he ever know how much I love him? I must go. I have to cry my pain. Your pain? But your lover told me. He only sees you. Oh my god, even an oyster would have more charisma than this one. <laughs> I cannot live for another minute far from him. But keeping this fly is making our love slowly die. Oh, but here's Charles. But I already know your secret, dear. <gasps> Gasp! Oh, I must leave. You two must have many things to catch up on. I wouldn't get in the way of that. I would understand, my dear, if you never wanted to see my face again. Because of my lies, our love will never be the same. I must go. I do not deserve anyone as loyal as you. Do not leave me, my love. I beg you. Why? Why would you want me to stay with you? Because I love you like I have never loved anyone before. And my heart would never be able to love anyone else but you. My sweet love, you know more than anyone should know that. This diamond ring is for you. You and only you. Oh, my love. Would you accept this ring? Oh, look at them. They're having a cute little marriage proposal that's fake in a play. But excuse me? Excuse me? Do not forgive her. I beg you. She's nothing but a fraud. Run away with me instead. Who oh, is she up here doing this? What is this girl doing here? That's definitely not in the movie. Should I throw her off the stage? Oh no, have you seen the audience plot twist? Let them improvise. She betrayed you. So what do you say? Would you run away with me and leave this backstabbing liar behind us forever? I can't believe Charlotte's up here trying it. Fight back, Bella, to be continued losers. Okay, so that is the end of the chapter. Charlotte is trying to make her embarrassing return and try it on stage in a last-ditch effort, I'm assuming. But you know what? Every one of her plans we have foiled before, and we will foil it again. I almost feel bad for her because it's going to be so embarrassing when they kick her off the stage. Like, if she actually wins that, I'll be in shock, but I highly doubt it. Also, the biggest plot twist of this entire chapter is psycho speaking sentences. I had to take a moment that I had to cut out because I was in disbelief. I am still in shock and disbelief that Psycho is a new person. She took out her hair extensions and she is now a nice girl. Wow. Wow. And Charles is still mad at us. I just, I don't know. Well, hopefully he recovers himself because I'm over that little freaking disaster he's upset about. And Peter was so cute. I just, my goodness, y'all, we're getting dramatic. It is the end of the series, practically, so you know they're going to be throwing drama at us left and right. I am so excited. I hope you all are, too. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.